Hi, in this video, I'll take you through the basics of a PV diagram, the pressure volume graph. Before we get into that, I would like to show you some gases actually expanding in a cylinder. This is just an animation showing that the gases have significant force and pushing out a piston of yellow color. So just to give you a feel. Now if we get into the theory, there are only four kinds of graphs in a PV diagram. Let's take the top one, which is the green one. As the volume increases, the green graph is horizontal. The pressure is neither increasing nor decreasing. It's a constant pressure, so it's called an isobaric process. Isobar means constant. Pre baric means pressure. Bar for pressure. The vertical line is isochoric process, constant volume. The pressure reduces from top to bottom. The volume doesn't increase, so it's not really a piston getting pushed out kind of situation. The other two graphs are hyperbolic graphs, the red and violet. The red one is isothermal, constant temperature. The bottom one is adiabatic, no heat exchange. So coming to these hyperbolic graphs, you can see here in this uh, moving thing that as the volume increases in that cylinder, the piston is moving out, the pressure is reducing quite quickly along that graph. So please do get a feel of the pressure volume relationships. So a little more explanation about the isothermal and adiabatic is needed. So iso means constant and thermal means temperature. And for an ideal gas, when it follows this graph, you will always get a rectangular hyperbola, mathematically speaking. If there's no heat exchange between the gas and its surroundings, the gas doesn't give heat to the surrounding, the gas is not getting heated by any burner from the surrounding, then this ideal gas will follow an adiabatic expansion which is a steep hyperbola mathematically. So these two graphs are of different shape and please do uh, remember these shapes and which is why uh, everything has been uh, plugged into one single graph so you can uh, remember it uh, quite easily. So this is the quick summary of the PV diagram and I hope it was useful to you. Uh, thank you very much.